Hi, my name is Sascha Prüter. I'm the Chief Product Officer at Viewed, and I'm welcoming you to this kind of new experience for us. Before Viewed, I spent some time at Google where I started, among other things, the Operator Tier program. And I also spent some time before that at Microsoft in the Media Room group. So you can say I spent quite a time with and within pay TV. As we all know, pay TV is evolving. The pay TV industry is changing, and you could argue it has always been changing and adapting. Operators today are way more in the position of being a content aggregator across multiple delivery endpoints. So for years now, OTT content has been added to the traditional lineup. Metadata aggregation and links out to different content are a new normal. This also means cost structures have been changing quite a bit compared to the traditional business. Also, services are distributed more and more across a variety of endpoints, not just TVs. Phones have been added, tablets have becoming endpoints, sometimes as the prime outlet for your content, sometimes maybe as a secondary screen to assist the, the big screen experience. And since TV has always been the core part of a pay TV operator's experience, we believe that tapping into the full potential of smart TV can really help support operators get one step further. So how does smart TV really fit into and support this evolution? Operators, as I mentioned, are already on the TV. So the next logical step is why not actually getting one step further, not just deliver an additional device that a user has to connect to their smart TV or deliver just an app that lives next to YouTube and Netflix, but really take over the whole TV experience and really bring the user close to your brand and your content. So what is an operator TV? As I mentioned, it's the focus on getting the operator experience onto the sm uh, smart TV. And that shouldn't be just an app icon. This shouldn't be just a small symbol somewhere. It should be from the moment the user turns on the TV, it should be the operator experience. Because we believe at the, this point, a subscriber obviously wants to interact with the content they are paying for. And imagine they can do this with all the benefits of, that they used to from a setup box, but without the cost and complexity of having an additional device, which needs additional power and a cable and an additional remote control. Just turning on the TV, nothing to configure, fewer links in the chain, it is just simpler and faster to content. There are some key questions around this though. How can an operator actually maintain that control? The brand, the user journey, monetization, the content available on the device. How can they keep switching costs under control? We think now is the time to actually address all these questions. And it's not happening overnight, but over the next few years, we think this is going to happen because a lot of the key technology challenges have been solved or at least the bar of entry has been lowered. There are already a lot of solutions for things like security, content security, which has been always a major point why set-top boxes have been deployed in the first place. Experience, bringing an experience to a smart TV. There are already some standards like HPV TV op apps that actually gets to that point. Also, we think this has been more of a global phenomenon. It's not just a regional driver anymore. There are some challenges connected to this though. So as I mentioned, an operator just doesn't want to be an app next to Netflix or YouTube. There are more experience challenges to this. This is about capturing the user the moment they turn on the TV. We at Viewed, we have always been at the intersection of smart TVs and pay TV operators because we serve both worlds for many, many years now. And we do think that if pay TV operators get it right, we really think that there is 
an opportunity to save costs. There is an opportunity to improve subscriber retention and growth. And there is now finally the opportunity to remain control of the major experience of the TV home screen. That means it makes it much easier for consumers to do discovery across broadcast cable satellite and OTT content. No fight anymore over HDMI 1 and how do I switch to the set-top box and switch to the remote control. So to sum it up, we really think pay TV can thrive in the future by moving all this strength that pay TV operators have, content, discovery, knowing the user, moving that into the TV screen and not just having it encapsulated on a separate device. We think this will help to strengthen the brand. It will make it easier to capture users from an upsell perspective. Imagine what, what you can do here if just by buying a TV in a retail store, a user can automatically, without shipping hardware around, be, be a subscriber to your service. A major factor also, deployment speeds can be much, much faster. This is a key aspect in a world where users are really used to smartphone speed, new apps, new features all the time. This is a key for pay TV operators to stay relevant. Of course, all of this will not be an overnight tra transformation, but we really think this will lead to a different future and a much stronger future for pay TV operators. Imagine if, if you only move a quarter of your set-top box deployment into the smart TV. This frees up a quarter of your capex, uh, of your in-home capex for new initiatives. That means you can reinvest, for example, into co-marketing, do branding together with TV OEMs, upselling, so transforming the customer journey from the retail store where they buy their TV to the living room when they unbox it and immediately can have your service. It also allows to enable different promotions. So, for example, subsidizing consumer TVs because, well, you have the cost saving of not having the setup box anymore, which gives you lots of new entryways into the purchasing experience of the subscriber. We think this is an exciting shift that is going to happen and we are excited to do this together with you. Thank you very much.